Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. I am Adam Schmidt, one of the senior system engineers here at Casting by Veeam, and I put together a quick demonstration on application mobility, giving you the capability of taking an application that's running in one cluster and bail it over to a second cluster. And in this scenario, we're specifically going to be looking at a PostgreSQL application that's running in cluster one, which is in production. And we're going to fail that application over to our second cluster, which is our test dev cluster. And from there, you can test your application as much as you need to to ensure that it's working before you do any upgrades or database changes or anything you really need to from that application side. So I put together this quick demonstration uh, with this in mind. So we're taking our PostgreSQL application and moving it to our second cluster, which is our test dev environment. Pretty basic test, uh, but we're really showcasing the application mobility piece of Casting by Veeam's K10 platform and our application mobility side. Now, K10's got a pretty large selection of, of different features that we have to offer. And the only thing that we're gonna be testing in this is our application mobility. And by doing that, this enables any customers that have multiple clusters, managing them with a single pane glass to ensure that things are up and running. So let's go to the text real quick. We're going to get into console and just check for namespaces. And we've got an application here that we're going to be leveraging to restore the application in the secondary cluster. So we've got one pick from right here. So we're going to fail this one over. Now we're going to get into the GUI itself of our multi-cluster dashboard. And we can see we have a lot of different things to choose from from here. Now, you've probably seen this dashboard before because you've seen my previous video, hopefully. If not, please check it out. But in a multi-cluster dashboard, we have the capability of really managing both clusters. So I've got my first cluster, which is our production cluster and our second cluster, which is my test and dev. And we can see how many applications are there, what's compliant that has a policy applied to it, what's not compliant, or what's unmanaged because it doesn't have a policy applied to it. So let's go into cluster one, take a look at our applications. So I've got a few different applications in here. We're gonna be specifically looking at this one. And let's look at the restore points that we have to choose from. So in our applications, what we're going to take is an existing policy that's running. And we have a button on the bottom of each policy that says show import details. This is needed in order on the second cluster to grab the restore points that are exported to a location profile, which can be an NFS target, a AWS bucket, an Azure blob, you name it. We're going to take that information and go into our second cluster and create what's called an import policy because we're going to be importing that restore point from the AWS bucket and we're going to restore it here in the secondary cluster where that application did not exist in the first place. So I paste that code here and it already found which bucket it was sitting in. Now we're going to give it a name real quick. We also need to select the daily site too. So we'll name it. I'm going to call this cluster 02 restore. And we'll pick daily and create the policy. So now let's go run this policy. And in a few minutes here, we'll see after that import is completed that we have a restore point that we can leverage, to rebuild the application. So let's go back into our applications. And you'll notice that it didn't change the number of applications. And that's because we haven't restored that application yet. So we go into our removed apps because the app doesn't exist here in this cluster. And there's our restore. We're going to pick one of these. There's Tuesday. 
And let's create a new namespace at the same time so this doesn't go on top of anything else by accident. We're going to call this cluster 02 restore application. We're going to create that. Now, these are two digital ocean clusters. And by default, we want it to grab everything from this application. So we've got the PVCs, we've got the secrets, the config maps, custom resource definitions, the service accounts, both the storage classes, and vice versa. Now, part of this application mobility feature is also in a restore giving you the capability of doing what's called a transformation. Transformation, you can simply go up here into our apply transforms to a restored application, and we can change things like the storage class. So if I knew exactly what storage class I wanted to change it to, for example, if this wasn't two digital ocean clusters and we were going to restore this to an AWS, GCP, you name it, here we can actually test the operation to ensure that that application will be restored successfully and change the storage class or any other feature functionality of that application that we want to change. Because these are two digital ocean clusters, I don't need to apply a transformation, so I'm going to simply deselect those things right now. So now I'll click on restore and restore one more time. And let's go in and actually look at that restored application as it runs. This is going to take a few minutes here, so I'm going to skip a little bit of this video to save you some time. And we'll be right back as soon as that application is up. All right, thanks for joining me. That application is restored now. And what we can do to verify that is jump into the other cluster via command and ensure. And one thing I did want to point out too is that our applications changed from three to four because we have a new application now. So let's go into our command line one more time. Let's see what actual context I'm in right now. It looks like I'm in the first one, so let's switch to number two. I'm going to highlight this real quick. Just change the context. And if I could type correctly, I'd be in really good shape here. Try one more time. There we go. Switch to different context. Let's look at our namespaces. we'll see that restored application is there. Thanks for so much for joining me today. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you want to see any other feature functionalities that K10 offers, also leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining me today.